Welcome to the fast-paced world of Vanishing Point, a 1971 movie that takes you on a cross-country journey with Kowalski, a car delivery driver, as he barrels through the American West in a white Dodge Challenger. Buckle up for a ride where speed meets existentialism, as Kowalski attempts to break free from the constraints of society. Now, think back. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? The film stars Barry Newman, who delivers a compelling performance as Kowalski, a character caught in a desperate quest for freedom. When was the first time you watched this movie? Whether it was a late night screening or a recent discovery, Vanishing Point has a way of leaving a lasting impression on its audience. Before we delve into random facts about the show, consider this. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's shift gears and uncover some intriguing details about Vanishing Point. The film's non-linear narrative, coupled with its minimalist approach, challenges traditional storytelling conventions. Directed by Richard C. Serafian, the movie's cinematography captures the vast, open landscapes of the American West, adding a visual layer to the protagonist's existential journey. In conclusion, Vanishing Point isn't just a road trip, it's a reflection on freedom, identity, and the pursuit of something elusive. Share your thoughts, experiences, and favorite moments below, and let the conversation begin. In the 1971 movie Vanishing Point, stuntman Kerry Lofton foresaw the squad car rollover. Lofton had warned director Richard Serafian and cinematographer John Alonzo about the impending stunt. In a casual response, Serafian remarked, now he'll know where to put the camera. This anticipation of a crucial stunt underscores the meticulous planning and collaboration behind the scenes. The movie's success in capturing high-stakes action moments was a result of the close coordination between the stunt team and the filmmaking crew. One notable scene features Sandy, Kowalska's supervisor, being interviewed by the media. During this sequence, various bikers are visible in the background. Director Richard Serafian revealed that these bikers moved in tandem with the film crew, participating in the production, and even socializing together. In this scene, Serafian himself can be spotted, identifiable as the dark-haired man in a beige ten-gallon hat. This camaraderie between the bikers and the crew adds an interesting layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of Vanishing Point. While the film is known for its intense car chases and action sequences, it's worth noting a distinctive aspect involving actress Gilda Texter. She spends 100% of her screen time completely nude. Ironically, Texter later transitioned her career to the film industry, specializing as a costume designer, costumer, and costume supervisor. This fact highlights the contrast between her early role in Vanishing Point and her subsequent career trajectory in the world of costume design. In conclusion, Vanishing Point not only delivered on the adrenaline-pumping action, but also showcased the collaborative efforts and interesting anecdotes from behind the camera. From the foresight of the stunt team to the shared experiences of the crew and bikers and the unexpected career path of Gilda Texter, the film's production history adds layers of intrigue to its on-screen excitement. Vanishing Point, the 1971 cult classic, harbors intriguing behind-the-scenes details that add depth to its legacy. Director Richard Serafian, working on a tight budget of $1.3 million, faced financial constraints but found favor with executive producer Richard Zanuck. Zanuck's liking for the film led to an $80K overspend, prompting Serafian to humorously refer to it as losing vanishing points. Serafian's budgetary challenges didn't deter him from enhancing the film's audio experience. Zanuck enlisted eight Dolby artist teams to create a visceral aesthetic for the iconic challenger. However, the budget overruns cost Serafian 2.5 points, a humorous twist to the film's title. Fast forward to 1997, and Vanishing Point found resonance in an unexpected realm. The British rock band Primal Scream released their album Vanishing Point, presenting a unique take on the movie. Featuring sampled dialogues from the film, the album was conceived as an alternate soundtrack, breathing new life into the movie's audio legacy. From budget battles to an unexpected musical revival, Vanishing Point's journey extends beyond its adrenaline-pumping action. These facts shed light on the film's resilience and enduring impact, proving that sometimes the most fascinating stories unfold behind the scenes. The 1971 movie Vanishing Point faced its share of casting decisions, 
before hitting the screen. Originally, director Richard C. Serafian aimed for Gene Hackman to take on the role of Kowalski. However, 20th Century Fox insisted on Barry Newman for the lead. This clash of preferences sheds light on the dynamics between creative vision and studio influence in the film industry. Interestingly, the choice made echoes through the film's legacy, impacting its tone and reception. From Hackman to Newman, the casting decisions of Vanishing Point reveal the intricate dance between artistic vision and commercial considerations in the making of a cult classic. And this is just the beginning of the untold stories behind the 1971 movie Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point, the 1971 cult classic holds hidden gems that contribute to its enigmatic legacy. One intriguing revelation lies in the original cut of a scene where Kowalski talks to Jake on the phone after arriving in California. Director Richard C. Serafian envisioned a longer version, featuring an establishing shot showing the Challenger driving to a lone phone booth in the middle of nowhere. Sadly, this surreal moment was shortened in the final edit, leaving Serafian disappointed. Similar scenes, like Kowalski glimpsing a posse on horses in his rearview mirror during a chase, met a similar fate on the cutting room floor. These deleted scenes hint at a layer of mystique that could have enriched the film's narrative. Serafian's vision for surreal moments and unexpected encounters added depth to Kowalski's journey, reflecting the director's commitment to crafting a unique cinematic experience. As we delve into the intricate details of Vanishing Point, it's fascinating to explore the untold stories that shaped its final form. The dance between creative vision and editing choices reveals the challenges and compromises inherent in bringing a film to life. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of this iconic 1971 movie. Consider this fact about the 1971 movie Vanishing Point. Chris Christopherson was considered for a part, while his then-wife, Rita Coolidge, had a small role in the film. This casting decision sheds light on the intricate process of selecting actors for the movie. The filmmakers navigated through various options, ultimately shaping the cast that would bring Vanishing Point to life. Chris Christopherson, a notable figure in the entertainment industry, being in the running for a role adds an interesting layer to the film's casting dynamics. It also raises questions about how different choices might have altered the movie's tone and reception. The interplay between casting considerations and the final selection of actors is a crucial aspect of filmmaking, influencing the overall impact and legacy of a cinematic work. In the case of Vanishing Point, the casting decisions reveal the careful balance between creative vision and the practicalities of assembling a cast. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into the casting process provides a fresh perspective on Vanishing Point offering audiences a glimpse into the alternative possibilities that could have shaped this iconic 1971 movie. As the credits roll on the cinematic masterpiece that is Vanishing Point, I invite you to step back from the screen and into the realm of your own memories. This film isn't merely a story, it's an experience that transcends the boundaries of time and space, connecting us all through the open road and the pursuit of something greater. Take a moment to reflect on your personal journey and how this film has woven its way into the fabric of your own narrative. Perhaps it's the pulsating roar of the engine echoing in your mind, or the vast landscapes that mirror the expanses of your own dreams. Whatever it is, Vanishing Point isn't just a movie, it's a catalyst for introspection, a roadmap to your own desires and ambitions. Now, I extend an invitation to you, share your reflections, your favorite scenes, the lines that linger in your thoughts. Let's transform this solitary viewing into a collective celebration of the human experience, fueled by the shared love for a film that has stood the test of time. In the comments below, let the keyboard become your canvas, painting the vivid strokes of your connection with Vanishing Point. Your words might resonate with someone halfway across the world who shares the same affection for this cinematic gem. Thank you for taking this nostalgic journey with me. Your thoughts are the fuel that keeps the spirit of Vanishing Point alive and roaring down the highways of our collective consciousness. Appreciatively, 